hey guys welcome back to my channel eg motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration we are going to choose 30 second. And background color is white color. And simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Titles section. Now I'm going to go over here and I'll select my ellipse tool and I'm going to choose black color over here and simply hit OK and make sure that you are creating one ellipse at this point. So uh, by holding shift, I'm going to create one ellipse like this. OK, and simply double uh, double click on it or instead of that, simply go to the ellipse, ellipse path, select this ellipse path, right click, convert to Bezier path, go inside that path and create one keyframe, then double click on it like this and simply move this over here let's zoom in a little bit so the this line should proper touch over here why we are doing this so which means by uh, why we are moving this stuff with the help of path so our anchor point can be properly at the center which is over here that we don't need to move okay so this is our first step now select this press r for rotation tool Hit Ctrl D, press R and let's make this rotation 60. Hit Ctrl D, press R and let's make this rotation 120. Hit Ctrl D, press R and let's make this rotation 180. Select this, hit Ctrl D, press R. Let's go. You can simply add plus 60 over here. Select this, hit Ctrl D, press R. You can add plus 60 over here. Okay, so this is our ellipse. Now after that simply select all of them and press ctrl alt home because our distribution is final now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null now select this null press r for rotation create one keyframe zoom in uh, somewhere around let's say four seconds and we are going to rotate it on two rotations so if you see we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and then we will move one handle over here so we will get this kind of rotation like this okay then now simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we are going to call it as animation like this okay now after that uh, uh, what we need to do over here is uh, select this this is our animation and we are gonna go inside this effect and presets panel and search for eco effect and double click to apply like this so as you guys can see we are gonna get something like this as long as it goes somewhere around over here what we need to do we will simply go to the eco time and we will reduce this one three and we will add zero over there and let's make this 50 let's see what will happen over here let's try to make this 40 let's see what will happen okay let's make this 30 okay so let's make this 35 so as you guys can see uh, at 40 over here we are getting this complete ellipse over here so now let's make this quarter resolution so if i see this i'm gonna get something like this okay so let's go to around one second, create one keyframe at number of echoes, hit U, go to around three second, create another keyframe, go to the start and let's make this zero. So if you see, we will get something like this. Let's somewhere around this point, let's move this. Okay, so at this point, this is my complete ellipse. 
now uh, what we are going to do i'm going to select my ellipse tool and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this and choose red color over here just for now now select this press s and let's increase the size of it somewhere around over here so it will cover up the entire ellipse like this now select the shape layer hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as ref just for the reference and we will hide this select this one and now let's change the color of this one to black now create one keyframe go somewhere around over two seconds and let's make this zero value so if you see we will get something like this okay and the size of this one should some be somewhere around over here up to like this okay and hit f9 so we are getting something like this now this is the first step that we need to follow now uh, select both of these layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as mean and hit ok now go inside this hit u and see where is the last keyframe which is over here which is nearly before this four second so somewhere around over here go to the main animation over here now select this main press p for position create one keyframe press s for scale create another keyframe hit u uh, and enable this option over here go inside this press f4 also enable this option over here like this okay go to the start somewhere around over here and now we will enable our reference layer okay let's go over here for now uh, over here select this and hit ctrl d let's hide this we will use this as a reference over here as you guys can see we have created this position keyframes for this or instead of that let's delete this select this hit u and we will delete this stuff over here now select this main animation press f4 uh, i mean uh, y on your keyboard to bring our pen behind tool and we will bring this anchor point somewhere around over here at the this point and we will bring down our reference layer and enable this layer now select this main and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this and also bring down the position somewhere around over here so our main purpose that it should cover this red circle like this okay create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here then as i said ins go inside this and select where is the last keyframe which is over here go to the main animation and now let's make this 100 and let's disable this icon we don't need that and simply bring this somewhere over here it should cover this red circle okay so if you see this stuff you will get this kind of animation let's go over here and hit it okay select those keyframes and hit f9 like this and if you want you can bring this keyframe somewhere around over here also okay like this let's go inside this yeah this looks good let's delete this reference layer and let's make this position let's go inside this and 
yep this looks good so now if i see this animation i will get something like this now right click new and create one null object select this mean and let's make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's decrease the size of it somewhere around like this okay because we have chosen now full resolution it will take a little bit time to load but the final output would be awesome and if you want then this time you can move those keyframes somewhere around over here also okay but it will take a time to load this animation because we have added eco effect so it will take a little bit time then press ctrl y and you can sorry uh, press ctrl y and you can add white background simply bring this downwards right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and then you can swap these layers like this and uh, if you go to the main animation you can select this ellipse over here which is increasing its size let's go to the last keyframe over here go inside this select this keyframe and move this over here go to the start and simply select this and bring this over here select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this now you will get this animation from here only and let's move this keyframe somewhere around over here like this so now as you guys can see we are getting this animation continuously in the form of loop okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation